Uh, good morning, everybody, to the people from the European side. Then I will start my presentation. Uh, the, uh, actually, the original title on the presentation that I wanted to choose is like this, the Global E-Navigation Route Testbed. Uh, it is because I'd like to propose this as one of the the first collaboration testbed under the digital edge testbed cluster through my presentation today. I will first present the thesis as the background of proposing the global e-navigation route testbed, then analysis of the related current situation, and lastly, my methodology on how to carry out the test bed. Oh, sorry. I forgot to change my slide by myself. Yeah. The, my thesis has two approaches, the theoretical and empirical. The world maritime community says e-navigation will provide with many kinds of benefits like this. The IMO said in its e-navigation strategy implementation plan that e-navigation will cut off 65% of ships collision and around accidents. I saw this uh, some article on newspaper, the post CDM co uh, collective decision making, maybe. This community says that port operation and cost will be saved up to 12 billion US dollars globally. And also, I would say that ships bunker will be saved up to amount of 10 billion US dollars globally. In navigation is uh, it's a lot of, uh, it's a kind of stepping stone towards the fourth industrial revolution in maritime sector too. Then why a lot of concerns on e-navigation are over there still in these days? I will explain this by a role play together with Julian today. And I will have the role of a computer inventor in the role play, and also the Juyan, can you help me to be a customer in the role play? I would love to. Yes, I'm an inventor of the computer, as you can see on the screen. Uh, computer is very good. It's very smart, fast calculation, and even internet is available. Buy and use this computer. Hmm, but can you make it in a portable size? Because I want to be able to use it anywhere and anytime. Oh, really? I didn't know that you want a portable. Here you are. This is a portable computer and very good. No, it's not good at all because it's useless. I can't even see anything on the screen. Oh, really? You want one that you can handle by yourself? How about this? I applied Pinch to Zoom to meet your needs. Exactly. This is what I wanted. And because of this Pinch to Zoom, I can handle and use all kinds of applications on it. Exactly right. There's your result. As we can watch the role play, the pinch to zoom is a core technology and services to make meet customers' needs and benefits, right? Jens, uh, what do you usually do on the subway? Mm, well. uh, don't, don't, don't answer, <laughs> I will guess. I will guess. You, you must be using your smartphone like these people, right? Most of they the time, They are watching yes. the smartphone on the subway. And furthermore, 
If we ask this sorrowful man, you can understand who is now. Uh, if we ask these people what he needs most right now, so I thought to myself, he might say, yes, I need this smartphone most now. I think he might, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And there are two peoples, they love each other, and they meet once a week. But we can easily see this kind of situation everywhere nowadays. They are looking their own smartphone, respectively, right? Rather than communicating each other like this. Is they seem they cannot live without smartphone in these days. Then I will propose an international collaboration based on the lessons learned from the role play and episodes I had shown you on the screen. Yes, uh, we need a kind of global collaborative e-navigation road testbed so as to show actual benefit and effectiveness of e-navigation to all stakeholders. Through the test bed, the global collaborative test bed, through the uh, global e-navigation road test bed, I expect that we can together facilitate global harmonization, compatibility, and standardization that are able to provide the most benefit to all stakeholders. As you result, the test bed contributes to facilitate using e-navigation services by the world maritime community, just like people using their smartphone in these days. As you can see on the slide like this, there is a world e-navigation shopping mall. There are many people queuing to buy some e-navigation services because they need e-navigation service, I hope. This slide shows some kind of challenges that I had experienced in the case of a former MOU on global e-navigation test bed. First, without the clear need to comply with digital technology to an international obligation, there is a limitation for administration to participate in the test bed. Secondly, Without a best practice and service instances, verifying and validating its global harmonization, effectiveness, and benefits to our stakeholders, the concerns on e-navigations are still listed and continued by industries and users. Then, I'm going to show you a methodology on how to carry out the digital sheet testbed cluster, especially the global e-navigation route testbed as the first testbed collaboration proposed. The cluster need to be carried out under the goal-based collaboration to implement the service as a result of the testbed. To this end, the cluster need to make an effort to put into place the clear international obligation at IMO, while create a best practices and actual services instances at the same time. The cluster might be composed under the framework of MU on digital edge testbed as follows. First, there should be some shore-based service platform regionally. For example, this is an example, I guess, the smart navigation service platform in Korea and Nabulink, Nabulink, Nabulink service platform in Europe and Massport service platform in Singapore as a calling port of the ships, ships route from Korea to Europe. Second, the various digital communication network could be used, for example, satellite VHF data exchange system and shore-based VDS system or LTE communication like Korea. 
Third, the third element is the shipborne digital platform such as ACTIS that is applied with the internationally agreed of 100 S100 data model. As various stakeholders could participate in the testbed like this, maybe the Miss Julian commented out uh, such kinds of stakeholders to have some cooperation, international cooperation from the industry to the users or administration and university. Yeah, every stakeholders can participate in this testbed together to make a harmonization. And this is a time frame and roadmap I propose to carry out the global navigation road testbed under the digital SG initiatives. First, signing on MOU at early next year. And second, the de designing and organizing testbed by the end of next year and operating testbed from the beginning of 2022. While we operating the series of digital SG conferences continuously from early next year and making joint effort to put into place the clear international obligation at IMO at the same time. And this is my conclusions with regard to the digital SG cluster, especially the proposed the global innovation road testbed as the first testbed collaboration under the MOU. Uh, as I told you in my uh, presentation, maritime digitalization will provide all stakeholders with the most benefits of safety and efficiency at the same time and clear international obligation to comply with maritime digitalization is a key to facilitate participating and implementing maritime digitalization by stakeholders, shipping, ports, logistics, and administration too. It's very essential to create best practice showing actual benefits and effectiveness of maritime digitalization. So global e-navigation road test bit is a, is a kind of pinch to zoom to be able to show the best practice for maritime digitalization. Thank you.